So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working backwards using volume to determine the radius and the diameter of the circle that we started with. So as you can see here, we have a cylinder that's got a 2,000 cubic centimeter volume, and we know that it has a height of 10. So before we can begin this, we kind of have to go over what the formulas for volume and area of a circle are in order to make sure that we're using the right formulas in, in the working backwards process. So if we know that volume is equal to the area of the base uh, times the height, then what we can do to determine the area, we're just going to move some of these around. We're going to move the area over here. So area is going to be equal to the volume. And if we used area times height to get volume, then we got to do something different. We can't multiply it. So we're going to divide by height. So area is equal to volume divided by height. So let's take a quick look at how this works. So I'll plug in my numbers over here. Area is going to be equal to 2,000 divided by height, which is 10. So our area is going to equal 200. But now there's an issue with that because we know that the formula of area is equal to pi r squared. So area itself is made up of already two operations. We have to break that down even further. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to take that and divide it by pi. So if we take area is equal to 200 divided by pi, which is 3.142 in this class, we are going to end up with a number that is 63.65. And now this right here is kind of important because it is going to be our radius times radius. So radius squared right here is going to be equal to that number. Now if we have a radius square, it means that, I'm just going to use a, a square here. If we have a, uh, a square and we have a total area of 4, we know that this line is going to be equal to 2 and this line is going to be equal to 2 as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and find what a radius times a radius is going to be equal to. So we will break that down even further. r squared is equal to the square root of 63.65. Now when we square root this, essentially what we're doing is we're trying to find the length or the width, or in this case, the radius of the circle that's right here, because no matter where we're at in the circle, that l distance will be the same as that distance will be the same as that distance will be the same as that distance. So all of the distances will be the same. They're all radius to the center of this circle. So if we take the square root of 63.65, we end up with a radius of 7.98. and that's going to be centimeters. So this, I know it looks like a mess, but this is the way that we're going to use and break down uh, using volume to try and determine what the radius is of a circle if we're given the volume and the height. Good luck.